This is a portable power source and dock for a Nintendo Switch. Um, power Hub GAN docking. And this um, is the 30 watt model, so it provides 30 watts for the Switch. I was provided this to review for free. If you wanted to purchase it, it would cost you about $35. Um, they haven't paid me for my review, so my opinions remain my own. So in the packaging, it comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable that's colored like it is. Um, it also has a little manual, and it has this power dock itself. So this is a small power adapter. You connect to the host with, basically, you connect this to your Nintendo Switch, and that will provide 30 watts of charging to your Nintendo Switch, but it also exports a 4K 60 hertz HDMI signal out here. Um, and it also has a USB 2.0 charger to charge accessories. So the idea is you can carry a small package, it'll power your switch. If you plug an HDMI cable into it, you can use the switch projected onto a television, for example. So when I provide, plug the provided USB cable into here, it doesn't go all the way in. There's a little bit of silver showing from this USB port, so it's kind of a short USB-C connection there. It seems to be making a fine connection, it's just that it, it looks to be a little shorter than the end of the provided cable. So first of all, I'm going to test this just as a power supply and make sure it gives you 30 watts. So if I'm reading this manual correctly, in charging only mode, the 30 watt supply does 25 watts from the USB-C port and 5 watts from the uh, USB-A port on the bottom. So I'm only expecting to get 25 watts out of this guy here. Um, they have things where they say charging only, laptop dock only, laptop dock plus charging. Um, and so it may be possible to use this as an HDMI output without having it plugged in. Um, so it might be possible to plug this into a laptop, export HDMI video without having this guy plugged in at all. So it would act as kind of an external unpowered hub. Um, so I'll have to try that out as well. Um, and it basically says, you know, you're getting 25 watts out of the USB-C port and 5 watts out of the USB-A port. According to the manual and what's written on here, it supports the USB-C power delivery and it says it'll go up to 20 volts at 1.25 amps. It also supports the 15 volt, 12 volt, 9 volt, and 5 volt level. So this should be able to provide 25 watts to a laptop at 20 volts or 15 volts or 12 volts. All right, this laptop requires 12 volt supply to charge. So it has negotiated, oh, it's gone all the way up to 20 volts, excellent. So we're able to test it with my laptop. It's gone negotiated to a 20 volt level. It's doing 1.17 amps and it's delivering 23.9 watts. So that's pretty darn close to the 25 watts that it um, claims to be able to deliver. Um, so I'm gonna say that yes, it can deliver 24 watts. This load over here also works at the 20 volt level, but it will work at a lower voltage sometimes. It is a power supply that has in and out, and it appears to be having trouble negotiating with it. So this guy does not want to provide power to something else that could also potentially provide power. So it is not negotiating as a power supply for all loads, but it's doing most loads. All right, so I have this plugged into the wall. We're just going to plug a switch into it. This switch is already fully charged, so it's probably not going to be drawing too much current from it but it has negotiated up to the 12 volt level. It's only providing about five watts. It's 0.34 amps. Like I said, the switch is fully charged, but it is able to charge the switch um, and power the switch. All right, so I tried plugging the switch into it and using it as kind of an unpowered video output. The little green light has turned on, so the switch is providing power here, but I'm not getting anything on the television. So I'm gonna try plugging this in and see if that makes it work better. Okay, as soon as I plug this guy in, it went into docking mode, and basically it is displaying what's going on on the switch on the big screen here. And once I remove power, the HDMI output fails and it goes back to the switch. So it does require power to be plugged in to export video to the TV. 
Now the really interesting thing is, is when I plugged in my laptop, um, it is working with this guy as an external monitor so I can drag windows back and forth between my two monitors and this guy is not plugged in. So the laptop will power this guy enough to work as an external monitor. The Nintendo Switch does require it to be plugged in before it will go into docking mode. But if you're just using this with a laptop, you could use this as an HDMI video output from your laptop without a power supply. Now, if you do plug it in, it will also charge your laptop while you're using it. So I plug that in and my laptop now is getting powered as well. And just checking the USB-A port here, it's delivering five volts out the USB-A port as well. Now I have a USB drive. I can plug this into the USB-A port while this guy is plugged into my USB-C port. And I'm just checking to see, yes, it does act as a hub. So it's acting as kind of a USB-C hub and I can access files on that guy. So just plugged into your laptop, this guy will do HDMI out and a USB 2.0 hub. So you can basically use this as a hub on a laptop. Uh, but with the Nintendo Switch, it does require that it be plugged into power before it will work in docking mode. All right. So this guy will work with a laptop as well as a Nintendo Switch. If you plug the USB-C port into your laptop, you can export 4K video at 60 hertz. You can use the USB 2.0 port, 2 port as a hub, so you can plug in a USB stick or a mouse or something and use that as well. Um, if you plug it into power, it will provide power. I've seen it do um, 20 volts USB-C power delivery at basically 24 watts. Um, I've also charged my phone at the 9 volt level. Um, now, when you have a Nintendo Switch plugged into it, the Nintendo Switch does require it to be plugged in and providing power before it will go into docking station mode. So you do have to have this plugged in for the Nintendo Switch to switch over to docking mode and export your video out the HDMI port. Uh, but with a laptop, you can use this just powered by the laptop's USB-C port. And if you plug it in, it'll power your laptop and charge it. If you don't plug it in, it works kind of like an HDMI and USB hub for your laptop. So, as long as you don't mind the color scheme, this could be used with anything other than a Nintendo Switch as well.